TRVs are an important part of the central heating system, as they allow householders to control the temperature of each individual room through the radiator. In this video, we will show you how to install the TRV, together with some tricks of the trade that make it easier to balance the system and service the valve. We will be installing Drayton TRV4s, which are A-rated for energy efficiency. Once you've drained down the system, you can start the installation. Firstly, remove the existing valve. Seal the new valve connection with four to six layers of PTFE tape to prevent leakage. Screw the new valve on. And finally, attach the TRV head making sure that the indicator is facing forwards. This is easiest to do if you screw the valve on when it is set to maximum before reducing the setting to three once installed. Once the TRV has been fitted we can balance the system. I'll now show you how to balance the system using the TRV rather than the lock shield valve. What's great about the Drayton TRV is you can balance the system using this unique key. First of all, we've refilled the system, it's full of water. Now make sure the pump and boiler are turned on. Making sure that the lock shields are fully open, start at the radiator closest to the pump. Checking the temperature of the flow and return pipes using click on thermostats. The target drop in temperature from flow to return pipe is 11 degrees C. If the temperature is different, you need to adjust the flow rate, dropping it to increase the temperature and vice versa. First of all, undo the locking ring, which is quarter of a turn anti-clockwise maximum. Then turn over the key, place on the inner section and adjust in a clockwise direction, lining up the numbers on the top of the key to the slot in the valve until we get a flow difference of 11 degrees across the radiator. Once the 11 degree temperature difference across the radiator is achieved, just remember to lock the locking ring, quarter of a turn clockwise. Repeat this process for the rest of the radiators working away from the pump. It's great for future use, because if any radiators are removed for decorating etc, there's no need to rebalance. The gland seal on the Drayton TRV is replaceable. Let's have a look at how we do it without draining down. First of all, we're going to remove the valve head and then we're going to use this unique key to replace the gland seal. Replace the gland seal. Tighten back in, ensuring you only go as far as the flush top. And finally, replace the valve head. So there you have it, replacing the gland seal is as simple as that. TRVs are a great way to save energy, so before leaving, make sure you set it at a level appropriate for the room. TRVs are an essential form of heating control. To find out more about Drayton's market leading range, including the A-rated TRV4, visit draytoncontrols.co.uk.